It's me, Molly. Kaya is a wonderful place to play with my friends and explore the outdoors. I live here with my family at the Denali Training Post. Would you like to explore with me? Let's go! Use the arrows to explore my village. We need to find a basketball so we can play. Want to go find it? Alaskan Adventure Hey everyone! I've been getting lots of questions from my vlog viewers about all the cool animals that live in Alaska. So Nina and Mom are taking me to do some research. We'll take photos of the animals and make notes about what we see. Then add them all to my notebook. Afterwards, I'll answer viewers' animal questions in my vlog. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Puffins on the Rocky Fjord. Let's photograph puffins for our notebook. Molly, did you know that puffins can fly? But they have webbed feet that help them swim too. We need a photo of a puffin diving in the water. Alaskan Adventure Hey everyone! I've been getting lots of questions from my vlog viewers about all the cool animals that live in Alaska. So Nina and Mom are taking me to do some research. We'll take photos of the animals and make notes about what we see. Then add them all to my notebook. Afterwards, I'll answer viewers' animal questions in my vlog. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Bald eagles on the rocky fjord. Let's photograph bald eagles for our notebook. Molly, did you know that eagles often nest near the water? That's where they can find lots of fish to eat. We need a photo of an eagle. Nice photos. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Nice photos! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. A caption gives us information that tells about a picture. Bald eagles look for food along the coast. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Bald eagles look for food along the coast. Use the colors to draw the picture. If you want to trace the photo you took, use the slider to help you. You can undo if you make a mistake.
Are you done? Tap the check mark or tap your drawing to start over. A cut A. All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about bald eagles in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about eagles. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap sea otters on the rocky fjord. Let's photograph sea otters for our notebook. Molly, did you know that sea otters often float on their backs while holding food and tools on their chests? We need a photo of a sea otter floating on its back. Nice photos. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Sea otters eat while floating on their backs. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a sea otter. Feet. Tap its web feet to label them. Ears. Next, let's label the small tail. Let's label its furry tail. Great. Now you can drag your labels around if you want. Quincy, good! Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about sea otters in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about sea otters. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap puffins on the rocky fjord. Let's photograph puffins for our notebook. Molly, did you know that puffins can fly, but they have webbed feet that help them swim too? Nice photos. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. Puffins can dive up to 200 feet underwater. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a puffin. Beak. Tap its colorful beak to label it. Feet. Let's label its web. Wings. Next, let's label the wings. Great. Now you can drag your labels around if you want. A cut A. All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about puffins in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about puffins. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows. Marsh. Moose in the marsh. Let's photograph moose for our notebook. Molly, did you know that moose are herbivores? They only eat plants. They often find plants to eat in marshes, which are wet areas of land. We need a photo of a moose. Nice photo. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Nice photos! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. Moose often look in marshes for plants to eat. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're... Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Moose often look in marshes for plants to eat.
are you done? Tap the check mark or tap your drawing to start over. Quincy, good! Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about moose in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about moose. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Beavers in the marsh. Let's photograph beavers for our notebook. Molly, did you know that beavers can slap their tails on the water to communicate with other beavers? We need a photo of a beaver slapping its tail. Nice photo! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. Beavers can slap their tails to warn other beavers about danger. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Beavers can slap their tails to warn other beavers about danger. Are you done? Tap the check mark. A cut a. All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about beavers in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about beavers. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Cranes in the marsh. Let's photograph cranes for our notebook. Molly, did you know that baby cranes are called colts? They get their adult feathers when they are about two years old. We need a photo of a baby crane. Nice photo! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. Baby cranes are called colts. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a crane. Beak. Tap its beak to label it. Neck. Let's label its long neck. Wings. Next, let's label the wings. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. Quincy. Good! Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about cranes in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about cranes. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap river. Bears at the river. Let's photograph bears for our notebook. Molly, did you know that bears look for salmon in rivers? They are also excellent swimmers. We need a photo of a bear. Tap to take a picture. Nice photo. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Nice photos! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! 
Choose a photo to match this caption. Bears look in rivers for salmon to eat. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Bears look in rivers for salmon to eat. Are you done? Tap the check mark or tap your drawing to start over. A cut A. All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about bears in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about bears. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap salmon at the river. Let's photograph salmon for our notebook. Molly, did you know that salmon swim upstream to lay their eggs? Sometimes when they swim, they jump out of the water. We need a photo of a salmon. Nice photos. You can take more. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Salmon swim upstream and sometimes jump out of the water. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a salmon. Head. Tap its head's dorsal fin. Let's label tail. Next, let's label the salmon's tail. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. Quincy! Good! Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about salmon in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about salmon. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Bison at the river. Let's photograph bison for our notebook. Molly, did you know that bison can drink more than 10 gallons of water a day? We need a photo of a bison drinking water. Nice photos! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. Bison can drink more than 10 gallons of water a day. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Bison can drink more than 10 gallons of water a day. Are you done? Tap the check mark or tap your drawing to start over. A cut A. All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about bison in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about bison. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Forest. 
four real owls in the forest. Let's photograph boreal owls for our notebook. Molly, did you know that boreal owls are nocturnal? They hunt at night. During the day, they sleep in small holes in trees. We need a photo of an owl. Nice photos. You Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Boreal owls are nocturnal. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If can you draw a picture to match this caption? Boreal owls are nocturnal. Are you done? Tap the check mark or tap your drawing to start over. Quincy, good! Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about boreal owls in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about boreal owls. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap flying squirrels in the forest. Let's photograph flying squirrels for our notebook. Molly, did you know that flying squirrels sometimes fly over a mile to find food at night? We need a photo of a flying squirrel gliding in the air. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Flying squirrels can fly over a mile for food. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, let's add labels that name the different parts of a flying squirrel. Eyes. Tap its tail. Let's label its bushy tail. Claws. Next, let's label the claws. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. A cut a. Eh? All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about flying squirrels in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about flying squirrels. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Red foxes in the forest. Let's photograph red foxes for our notebook. Molly, did you know that baby foxes are called pups or kits? We need a photo of a baby red fox. Nice photo. You can click more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Baby red foxes are called pups or kits. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a red fox. Ears. Tap its point. Tail. Let's label its fluffy tail. Muzzle. Next, let's label the pointed muzzle. That's where. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. Quincy, good! Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about red foxes in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about red foxes. Great job! You filled up the whole notebook. Tap an animal to take more photos. Fjord. Marsh, river, forest, fjord.